Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. So today again we are back on our POC live applications. So today we'll be seeing another rule type called declare expressions. Okay. So let's understand the first. Let's first understand the use case of declare expressions. That in what all places, in what all scenario we should use the declare expressions. Okay. So as name is suggesting, declare an expression. So it declaratively fires. Okay. Declaratively means automatically it will compute, automatically execute, and then calculate. It will do some expression calculation. Okay. So let's say that. uh you are building an online shopping applications okay so someone is ordering let's say five laptop and then per laptop price is 10000 okay so whenever some like price is fixed okay so price is not changing but quantity will change so if quantity will change then you want the total price to be calculated automatically okay you don't want to write a complicated logic okay so in that kind of a scenario we use declare expressions okay even like uh, um you can write procedurally as well like you can like each time you can uh, uh, multiply let's say 10000 and then each time whenever is uh, someone is inputting quantity then you can like calculate that and then display on the ui total price okay so this is one of the example okay uh so in in our applications where we'll use so we can we will we use to calculate the total number of vacation days so let's say if we have two fields if you remember we have a start days and we have end date now we have to calculate the total days okay so there is a two way we can calculate total days okay one is the procedurally okay procedurally means that let's say whenever we are selecting a start date okay we can write a data transform rule which will calculate the difference between start date and end date and then show the total days okay another way is declaratively okay so declaratively also we can write and calculate it so let's see that okay uh, how it, let's let's see both the ways okay and understand that what is the advantage disadvantage okay and why we should prefer in this kind of a scenario whenever we are going for a calculations why we should prefer to go for the declare expression okay so to start with first what i have done okay i have created a property okay already i have created in leave details so we had three property start date end date and then leave details i have created another property called total vacations days and this is of type integer okay and then i have created a data transform in the same class okay because we will be going to call this data transform on refresh of section so i will show you i have just written this very simple step end date minus start date okay so here what we are doing we are calculating the day difference okay from end date to end start date so that will get that total days okay this is a very simple calculations but let's say if you are working you can try okay you can uh, search in pdn or you can try from here how you can sub subtract the date okay uh, based on the business days okay like let's say that uh, if i am selecting two weeks vacations then it will it won't be 14 days it will be like a 10 days because Uh, like uh, weekends will also come okay so how we can do that okay you try to uh, explore that part and if you are not able to achieve it comment in the section uh, comment in the uh, section area i'll help you on that one okay but for now i have just used end it minus start it a very simple calculations but you definitely need to calculate the total days based on the business days okay so that is one of your task okay so now uh, this data transform i have uh, like is already done now let's go to navigate to the section okay so here you can see i have added that property total vacations days okay so let's see the configuration of both start date and end date okay that what i have done so here in action so actions i have added on change so whenever the date will change okay start date and end date will uh, start date will change then it will refresh this section and it will call this data transform vacation calculate vacations days so it will call this so when it will call this it will like execute this step okay uh, end it minus start it and set the total vacations days okay but here okay if we just do on a start date that's not enough okay because someone can change the end date as well okay so it no it's not necessary that if someone is ending it like changing end date then it will always come and change the start date so in that case what we have to do we have to put this same calculation same things on end date as well so that if someone is changing end date then also it should calculate this one okay so now let's go go on ui and then see how it will work okay so you understood that code very simple code on both start date and end date 
on change of the value i'm refreshing the section on refresh i'm calling this section and uh, this data transform the responsibility of this, this data transform to calculate the date difference and set to this property okay so what i'll do to make you more understand i'll trace also okay so whenever we'll change we'll see that how this is getting called okay so let me create a new case okay so i'll simply delete this case okay now i'm creating a new case so here we'll fill something okay this is okay mainly we are we are walking today here okay so here we have a start date and end date so let me select this so here now you can see that it's a coming nothing blank coming okay so now if i just select let's say four okay start it and then and it it's it's a taking from like 1972 so just ignore for now let me select this one that also we can we can have this that when uh, we can put a when conditions that when it started and end it is like not blank then only show this one so those kind of a things you can do you can try if you're if you're not able to do it just comment in the comment sections i'll help you okay because this should only come when we have both the date okay it should not come only when we have only started only ended okay you can also put a conditions that uh, before selecting end it like before selecting end it you should start uh, like select started so those kind of validations also you can do so now i'll select that end it okay so see i selected end it and then i got 24 days okay so if i come to tracer we can see that this data transform should have called twice okay because first i selected a start date and then second time i called uh, selected end date so both the time it will call so let's come to this data transform so you can see that that step the data transform executed twice so see begin data transform begin data transform end data transform begin data transform end so it calls twice okay so now what is the disadvantage here disadvantage is that each time whenever you are selecting it is calling the data transform and also it is refreshing the section okay so refreshing section so let's say here we have a very small ui but if your ui is big then ref once if you ref 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 refresh the section then it will take some good amount of time which can slows down okay your system so basically the performance will be very bad okay it will take time to reload that entire sections here our sections has only three fields so that's where we are not noticing but if you have a, let's say 20 or 30 fields then it will be very difficult okay so now let's see how uh, what is the alternative of this one how we can do that okay how we can do declaratively okay so the first thing which we will be doing is okay we'll go here and remove that action from a start date and end date so we'll go here and just remove that start date and instead of on change we'll just post the value okay so we'll post value that's it we'll do okay because we just want to post the value to clipboard okay on selection so it will not refresh we'll just select post value so post value what post value does is it will just send the value on clipboard okay for calculation now i have removed that okay so I, once again i'll show you i have removed the references of data transform okay now i have removed the data transform uh, reference of data transform. now what we'll do we'll go and write we'll go and write a declare expression so where we'll find a declare expression so we can see declare expression under decision okay so click on that create okay and then uh, here uh, either you can expand here also okay here and declare expression right click and create so now where we'll create okay and what is the target property so target property is in in which property like we want to set that the calculated value okay so here our target property is if you just click dot it will come in the drop down here it's not coming but idly it will come let me copy and paste that okay sometime it comes sometime it won't come okay so i'm just selecting here total vacations days okay and then page context will will just leave it so if you leave it it will be uh, on a primary page okay so we'll leave it and here our that that section okay or those properties there in the leave details class so we'll be creating in leave details class only okay so let's create that now here it is asking what we want to do okay so basically set the value of okay set the value of what okay so set the value of okay we want to subtract subtract okay so we can simply write the same 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 thing end it minus start it so again here things will not come so we can just write it okay so start it minus end it so set the value of start it and then it will set okay so you can see like okay there is a change in this declare expression earlier we used to have a track change tab okay which have been removed from 8.3 okay so if you want to check those things you can go and and select uh, use legacy expressions if i do that we'll get another uh, tab here and then we can use it but for now 
will will not go okay so now question is how pega will calculate this okay so what will happen whenever either of the value okay either end it or start it okay value will change pega will automatically execute this rule declaratively and then set the value in this property total vacations days okay so we don't have to rephrase we don't have to write a data transform or anything okay because what is happening if you write this like there is one more advantage that let's say this type of calculation a start it end it you you will be needing in five screen okay so if you are using a data transform you need to go and manually call those data transform in five places okay but if you write a this one total vacations date this you don't have to call you have to just use this on the ui and then pega will automatically call declaratively and set that okay so this kind of advantage will get it let's if you want to change something here okay then if you again do in data transform here also you can do the same thing but yeah that like maintenance will be high and then also it will be it can be a performance issue okay so that is where pega suggest okay for any type of calculations okay yeah. okay either you want to calculate total price or you want to calculate a total days or like any calculations you go for this declare uh, declare expression let's say you want to calculate the rate like what will be the rate i mean there are like many calculations okay in like there are many example in real time for calculation okay so now let's create another case and see that okay so i'll close this case and then create another case So see, currently it's showing zero days. Okay, so let me select start date thirteen and end date twenty. Okay, so it's not refreshing. So maybe maybe I need to um, that sometime post value doesn't work. Okay, so what I have to do just instead of post value, I have to use that refresh section. Okay, but I'll not call the data transform. Okay, I'm just using refresh this section. So there is some issue sometimes that post value is not working. So basically, the the value which I'm selecting is not going to clipboard. Okay, so for that only maybe could be this issue in this um, environment or something. But ideally, it should work with the post value. So I'll just select refresh. Okay, I'll not I'll not be calling the data transform. Okay, and also. to make sure that yes data transform is not called i'll go here and then disable this step okay now i'll go and then go back and then come again continue here okay so see here it's a came seven days okay and then now if i change the date it automatically see the 15 is coming if i change this date then c20 so automatically it's calling okay let's see if we can trace in in our tracer also so declare expressions we cannot trace uh, as a, a rule only rule so for that we need to trace the whole things okay so we need to select this whole tracer okay from the bottom and we need to make sure that in settings that we have a declare expression checked so we can just select this declare expression okay so see here and then your rule set should be checked so our rule set is already checked and then we have selected declare expression so now click okay and then let's go ahead and change one of the value okay So I'll change from twenty. Okay. So see, we can see somewhere our the declare expression. See, it it called forward chaining started and ended. So it calculated the value. So it called. Okay. You can see here. So if you are facing any issue, you can trace and and do that. Okay. So that is how we can use the declare declare expression. So it has a lot of benefit, and we should always use for calculation. Okay. So this was one of the very good example to calculate the start date and end date, and also I explained that uh, if you want to calculate this total days based on the business days, okay, that is one of your task how you will do it, okay. So you can do here as well, okay, and declare expression also the way here you can call the function, okay. Uh, you need to go here and then browse. Like let's I'll just give a clue so you can say business. And just search with the business, you'll get a function date time, uh, date time business dates. See. And start and end time. So you need to give few parameter and then it will calculate. Okay. So there are few functions. You can apply the same thing here as well. Uh, if I come here, if we have the same options here also. So expressions builder is available. So you can calculate. Okay. So I hope this will help you and you will explore more and and see how we can use declare expression because this is one of the important. If you're a beginner, you must learn this declare expression. Okay, for your POC and also this will come in your like CSE exam. Okay, so make sure to learn. And if you have any questions, again, I like uh, you can you can post in comment sections.
okay so i'll just quickly recap again okay that we learned here what today we learned today we learned declare expression okay how to calculate the some value okay so we saw procedurally okay using data transform and then also we saw declaratively using a declare expression okay so that's it for today okay and i hope this small video will help will help you thank you thank you very much have a good day